Hello guys, how are you? Today I'm here to tell you a very beautiful story about the sea, okay? And this story is called Annie and the Sea. So everyone, come on, open your eyes, open your ears and close your mouth. Look, look, this is Annie. Are you ready to go with her and hear her story? Come on then. Wow, Annie is clever and a happy girl. She's a clever and a happy girl. And she lives with her family in a lovely little house near the beach. Annie loves running, jumping and woo, blowing bubbles. Can you see all the bubbles here? Wow. Starla is a fast and friendly turtle. On her cell, she has a beautiful mark in the shape of a star. Can you see it there? Guys, very good. Her favorite thing is eating sweet caramel flavored seaweed. Every day when she finishes school, Annie goes to play on the beach and she has a lot of fun collecting cells and watching the crabs walk around they are so funny. Starla also goes to school and her teacher, the wise dolphin, teacher, teaches her new things and sometimes she goes on exciting underwater expeditions with her classmates. They go on excursion to see the sea. Wow, that's great, guys. On very, very hot days, Annie and her family stay at the beach all day and they build some castles, play ball and fly kites. Kites are flying in the sky. Starla loves having underwater swimming races. Hmm, you know, races when you go very, very, very fast with her family. Sometimes they flap the flippers for days and days without stopping. But, oh, guys, when the time comes to get in the water, Anne never leaves the shore. And when Starla's family goes up to the beach, Starla prefers to stay in the water. Mm, they are afraid. Look, Annie thinks that there are terrible monsters in the sea, which she never wants to meet. And Starla believes that she will get stuck in the shine on the beach and won't be able to get out. But that's not that way. Their friends don't understand and have found without them. Oh, that's not really good, guys. We don't make fun of each other because we are afraid. Both of them are really scared and wouldn't dare to even give it a try. They don't want it to try. Although their families insist that nothing bad will happen. Hmm? It's not going to happen anything. Come on, Annie. Come on, Starla. Come out there. But they are very, very scared. But one day, they get tired of missing out the fun and decide to give it a go. Oh, they are going to try it. So, they put out all the things and with all their bravery, they go there. Annie walks down towards the sea, determined to go in. At the same time, Starla lifts her head out of the water and, he and heads towards the shore. They keep going and going until they bump into each other on the way. Oh, who are you? I'm Annie. I'm a Starla. I am so afraid of the sea. There are terrible monsters in there, says Annie. And Starla says, you look very scared. What's wrong? There's nothing in the sea like a monster. Come with me and I will show it to you. Ay, the sea is fantastic. Come on, come on. We are going to look around. The first stop is Coralina the whale, 
who wakes up every morning with her singing la, 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 la. and she takes us to school on her back can you see all the fish and the seahorses on the back mm, that's right it's like the school bus the wheels on the bus go round and round so this is Coraline Coraline the wheels go round and round through the sea through the sea This is Bobby, the artist. He plays the trumpet <laughs> better than anybody with the drummer Squid Inkwell. This is Squeak, Squid, sorry, and he plays the drum. <laughs> Annie is absolutely fascinated. The sea is very different from what she had imagined. The sea is so much fun, Annie, said Starla. That's why I never go up to the beach. Well, also because I'm a little bit scared. So Annie tells her, scared? But the beach is amazing. Come with me, Starla, come on, come with me. Together, Annie and Starla come out of the water. They go running on the sand. They dance with the crabs and enjoy the sea breeze. Starla is no longer afraid of the beach and helps Anne build sand castles. They have such a great time together. You never know the friends you could find and the places you could discover until you give it a try. Annie and Starla realize that they were only scared of what they didn't know, but now they've made a lifelong friendship between the sea and the shore, and they say goodbye to each other. So, with Annie and Starla, very, very happy, we say goodbye to our story time until next time. And I will leave you here a little game, okay, to play. Let's Okay, so look, we have a little note from Annie. What does it say? Dear friends, the sea has many wonderful things to be scared. But this summer, try taking your diving glasses and going with your families to find treasures throughout this marvelous place. So guys, this has been everything. Hope you enjoy our beautiful story, okay? Next week, more. See you soon. Bye-bye.